special thank you to Brian Minig from Ken's Camera and One Hour Photo, both for selling me this rusty little camera and for the small amount of cash in my wallet because I quote, seemed excited about it, and for answering the multitude of questions I had for him, like how do I load film, and how do I unload the film, and plenty other questions I could have just solved with Google. Had he not shown me such patience and kindness, I wouldn't have been able to create this book and a core piece of me would have gone undiscovered. This is a collection of images I shot over the course of a summer in 2019. Being the summer after my first year of college, I was sure that it would be the last I would spend at home with my family. It was a bittersweet feeling, being that I had a general distaste for my hometown, yet, yet I was also keenly aware that this, for all intents and purposes, marked the end of my childhood. That summer, like the two prior, I worked at a small burger joint in order to save money for college. That small amount that I would allow myself to spend, I would put towards my newfound hobby of film photography. On my days off, I would wander the streets of my hometown, scouring for things around me that I could appreciate. On the days that I did work, I would still find myself clocking out, ditching my car in the parking lot, and wandering the adjacent streets with my camera. While the film was relatively cheap back then, I still didn't have the money to be blowing through roll after roll. Though these images span over the course of about three months, in total I only took approximately 60 photographs. At the risk of coming off as trite, I would just like to say that I hope these pictures make you feel at home. If you're anything like me, visiting your hometown may cause you to feel some combination of anxiety, dread, or any other feeling deemed unpleasant. This project is both for you and I alike. I did my best to strip these photographs of any and all context, allowing you to insert yourself into them as you please. Personally speaking, I hope that one day this is how I'll look back on this place. If proven unsuccessful, I hope that we may at least be able to return to this collection of photographs, our sanctuary. Thank you.